Hi, thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. Now grab your paper and pencil, because today we're going to learn about headlights. Now you remember the good old days when your car only had one headlight, high beam, low beam, built into one. You needed a new one, you just walked in the auto parts store and said, hey, give me a Sylvania H6024. Those days are long gone. Now did you ever wonder why they're called headlamps on your car? That's because in the late 1880s, when the horseless carriage was invented, you literally had a lamp on the front of your carriage that was powered, and that was your head lamp. It was usually powered by acetylene or oil, but you would light it with a flame so you had a headlamp on your vehicle. That was up until about 1904 when the Columbia, that was Columbia Electric developed the first electric headlamp that went on a car and by 1912 Cadillac made electric lights standard on all vehicles. Now depending on the design of your car, like the Cobra here, I have one headlight. It has the high beam and the low beam built into one bulb. If you had a car that had two headlights, you'd have a high beam and a low beam headlight, two separate bulbs. That kind of design, the sealed beam headlight, became mandatory in 1940 where the United States said that each side of the car had to have one 7 inch sealed beam headlight for each vehicle. That stayed frozen until about 1971 when the tungsten halogen headlights were invented. Now the sealed beam technology was fairly limited. The light was not very uh, intense on the road so it made it hard to see and the United States lagged behind the rest of the world. The high beam intensity in Europe was maxed out at like 140 candle power or candela and in the US it was limited to 37,500 until 1978 when it was raised up to 75,000. Then we got brighter light bulbs. In 74, 1974, that's when rectangular lights were allowed to be used on cars. And that stuck all the way up until about 1981 when the halogen lights became more and more popular. And these stayed until about 2010 until car companies started switching to LEDs which are even more brighter, a different shade of white, and they burn more efficiently, so they lasted longer and they used less power. Now ECE and SAE standards require that every new vehicle sold has to have headlights that emit white light, and there are different shades of white light, we'll talk about that in a second. But there was a test done in 1968 with selective yellow lights. We're also going to st install some of these headlights that have yellow in it. And they found, researchers found in the UK that uh, when they used a yellow light for a headlight that there was a 3% increase in the visual acuity of the driver. You can see better. Now by 19, what was it, 1973, another study was done and found that the difference between white light and yellow light was not a significant difference as far as safety goes but the yellow light did provide a little more accuracy and visibility, especially in rain, snow, or hazardous kind of foggy conditions. That's why the dual beam or yellow white light was introduced. Now when we talk about color temperature, what we're talking about is the frequency of the light that you're seeing and what the temperature tone is. Light is nothing more than heat energy given off by the filament. So you take a filament, you run something across it, it heats up and light is emitted from that filament. That's how a light bulb works. Now the color temperatures are different depending on the frequency of the light. In this chart you can see color temperature. The 1700K, which is a match flame, low pressure sodium lamps, that's going to be your warmer uh, yellowish kind of light campfire light. And it goes all the way up to your standard incandescent bulbs, soft white incandescent light bulbs, studio lamps, horizon daylight, fluorescent lamps, and what uh, vertical daylight electronic flash, and what daylight overcast is at 6500K. Then you start to get into bluer lights, the 6500 and 9500K for an LCD or CRT screen. And then you have a clear blue, clear blue sky is 15,000 to 27,000K. In this animation, you can see as the light shifts from frequency from 400 to 700, the color changes from blue to red. That's why the color changes in temperature. We're just changing the frequency of the light, and as the frequency changes, so does the color or temperature of that light. Now the one question I really can't answer for sure is if you're out in space and you're traveling the speed of light and you turn on your headlights, does anything happen? I'm going to say probably not because light is energy and once something travels the speed of light that speed is fixed it becomes energy and energy 
cannot emit energy. So you're not going to really get anything out of that. Now, according to Einstein's theory of general relativity, uh, it, it's all about the point of the observer. So if I could see a vehicle traveling, the speed of light, and they turn on a head beam, would I see light come out? Probably not because it would be going so by so fast I wouldn't see it anyway. And all of light would reach me at the same time so I wouldn't be able to distinguish. At least that's my take on it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try out a couple different headlights. First, we got the Basla headlight, which goes from yellow to white or a combination of white and yellow. These are pretty neat lights. We're going to put these in and try these out, see how they look. And then I have a set of just white LED headlights from uh, Auxbeam. I'm going to put these in my 2018 Chevy Malibu. We'll put these in a, what is it? What year is it? 2001. 2000. Of course, my assistant's sitting over there. 2012 Honda Civic, we'll try these out, see how the yellow-white works, and then we'll put the AUX beams in my 2018 Malibu. We'll try to drive it around tonight, and we'll see the difference. So I'm going to install these Bosla lights, which are multicolor. They have the white, warm white, yellow, and warning flashing on them. We're going to put these in. Pretty simple on the Honda Civic. First, you have to take out the reservoir for the windshield washer. Usually if you just give it a pull, it comes right out just like that. These light bulbs come packaged very nicely. You just pop them out just like that. And in order to put it in, you have to take off this plastic cover. And then I'll put it back in. The difference with these bulbs is that it has this power supply, which allows for the switching of colors. And before you put it in, you want to test it. So I'm simply going to put this together and then uh, hook it up. And we're going to test it before putting it in to make sure it's working properly. Now with it hooked up, you test it by turning the light switch on and off within five seconds and it should cycle through the four modes. Now that the test is okay, we can put it in. Now let's take a look at the white and see how it compares to the original. Now let's run through the four modes. Alright, so that was our Basla yellow-white light combination. Let's try just a white LED. So now we know what the multicolored headlights look like and how those perform. Now we're going to change this regular light bulb in a 2018 Chevy Malibu. And I'm going to change this and see how these perform with just an LED light. I'm going to change this and I have some lights from Auxbeam. These are LED headlights that are direct replacement. The 9005 headlight. So I'm going to put these in and we'll see the difference in performance at night with just a straight LED light. Since it is an LED light, it will come with a bulb that just has a cover on it. You just slide that off. Plug the light into the socket and then you have this power converter that plugs right into the harness. Pretty simple to install, just replace it. All right, now that I have one of the lights changed, I took one of these out and I changed it, and I'm going to show you the difference, and you probably see it with cars coming at you down the road. You have some of these lights that are really bright white, and some of them are just kind of normal. The normal lights that come with your car are going to be a cooler color white, much like a regular light bulb in your house. It's going to be a cooler white. The LED light is a much harsher light. It's a, a, it's a brighter white. I have an LED light on me right now and these LED lights are very bright. Let me show you the difference between an LED and a regular light. Okay, I'll just turn the lights on. You can see the LED on the left is a much harsher white and the regular halogen bulb on the right is a much cooler white or warmer light white depending on how you want to look at it that you would have in your house. Okay, now for the test. A side-by-side -side comparison of factory bulbs next to an LED bulb going down the same road at night.
can see the LED lights make a huge difference. I've been driving on for a few days now and they really do make a difference at night. You can see a lot clearer. The color tone of that LED light makes things a lot brighter and easier to see. Now, if you want to check out the description of this video, I have a link to both of the light bulbs and there's a discount code in there for all my subscribers. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.